this video we're going to be looking at graphing linear inequalities in point slope form. All right, now first of all we're going to take a look at the formula point slope form of an equation. It is identical um, when we throw in an inequality except the symbol instead of being an equal sign will be an inequality. In point slope form you've got y minus y1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x1. The m right there is your slope of your line, and the x sub 1 and y sub 1 is a point on the line. All right, now, if I'm going to be doing this with inequalities, instead of having that equal sign there, I'm either going to have a less than or greater than sign, or a less than or equal to sign. All right, in uh, graphing inequalities, we need to remember that when it's less than or greater than, we use a dotted line. When it is uh, less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, we're going to use a solid line. This means when it's solid that the points on the line are part of the solution. When it is a dotted line, then the points on the line are not part of the solution. You also have to remember there are shading rules that go along with the inequalities. Generally, we always test 0, 0. Uh, because those are easy numbers to plug in. All right, we will plug them in, we will work it out um, algebraically, and then see if we come up with either a true or a false statement. If we get a true statement, <clears throat> that means that we are going to shade on the same side as our 0, 0, because that meant that 0, 0 was a solution. All the numbers on that side of the uh, line will also be solutions. If we get a false statement, then that means 0, 0 is not a solution. So none of the points on that lot side would be a solution. So you have to shade the opposite side of the line. So basically, um, just some uh, rules, things to remember when graphing your inequalities that are in point slope form. Now let's take a look at an example. All right, let's suppose we've got um, y plus 4 is equal to 1 third x minus 2. All right, now let's uh, bring actually bring back that formula that I had written down on that first piece of paper first for a minute. All right, notice in this formula how the formula has a minus sign. All right, basically what that translates into is when you are then looking at an equation, you're going to want to pull out the opposite of what you actually see in the equation. All right, so anytime you have a formula and instead of having your standard plus signs in there, if you see minus signs, you're going to be pulling the opposite out. So when I do that in this example, that is why. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look right here for my point. This is going to be my x-coordinate. This is going to be my y-coordinate. So let's actually indicate that. That's my x sub 1. This is going to be my y sub 1. All right, this fraction that is sitting right here in front, that's going to be my slope. All right, so... Remembering the formula had minus signs in it means I've got to pull the opposite of these two numbers out. So I see a negative 2 right here. So my point that's going to be on my line is going to be a 2 for my x-coordinate. I'm going to pull out the opposite of my y-coordinate right here, and that's going to be a negative 4. So I know the point 2, negative 4 is on this line. Okay, And I know that I've got a slope of 1 third. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my graph paper and I'm going to plot the point that I know is on the line. So I've got a line or a point to negative 4. So I'm going to go to 2 and then down 4 and I'm going to put that point on my graph. Okay, so I start with that point. Now if I know the slope of the line then I can just go ahead and run that slope. So I'm going to go up 1, I'm going to rise 1 and run 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go up 1, and um, I'm going to rise 1 and go to the right 3. Continuing that pattern, starting from that original point, I can go to the left 3 and down 1, keeping that as a positive slope to the left 3 and down 1. All right. Um, now, I am graphing this one as an equation, so we will not have any shading in this one. This will just be graphing an equation. All right, I see an equal sign. All right, so... That means that there's no shading on this one. I'm just literally graphing one in point-slope form. So there is an equation in point-slope form. Now, let's change it up and make it an inequality symbol there instead of the equal sign. So for another example, let's go with say y minus 3 is equal, to, or uh, better not say equal, is greater than or equal to 
a negative one half x minus one. Okay, so on this one, I do have an inequality this time, so I'm gonna have shading, I'm gonna have to take a look at the dotted or solid line, and so there's way more to this one. So first of all, let's identify this is gonna be my x sub one, this is gonna be my y sub one, and this is gonna be my slope. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to pull out that point. All right, now again, remembering we want the opposite of what we see right here. So my x coordinate, I see a negative one, so I'm gonna pull out a positive one. For my y coordinate, I see a negative three, so I'm gonna pull out a positive three. All right, I can also look at that and know that my slope is a negative one half. So again, I'm gonna start with that point, so I'm gonna to go to one, three, and put my first dot. I'm gonna run a slope of negative one half, so I know my slope's gotta go like this. I'm gonna rise one and go to the left two. I'm gonna rise one, go to the left two. Okay, I can also follow that and go to the right here. I can go down one and to the right two, and it's still gonna stay on that thing, on that same uh, slope. I'm gonna take a look at that inequality symbol. All right, because I have the equal to part in it, I know I'm going to have a solid line on this inequality. So it's going to appear just like my equation did. Because I've got a solid line. But now, because it is originally an inequality, now I'm actually going to test my zero, zero point. Okay, so I'm gonna plug zero in for x, I'm gonna plug zero in for y. So I'm gonna have zero minus three is greater than or equal to a negative one half, zero minus one. Okay, uh, zero minus three on this side is just gonna give me a negative three, greater than or equal to. Over here, zero minus one is gonna give me a negative one. Negative one times the negative one half is gonna be a positive one half. This says negative three is greater than or equal to a positive one half. All right, well, we know the negative number is not positive, so then that means that this is a false statement. All right, so this point zero, zero right here, which is the point we tested, is not a solution to this inequality. So none of the points on this side are a solution. So that means I go over here and all of my solutions must lie on this side of the line. So actually on um, these two examples now, we've done a point slope in uh, an equation form and this one now an, an inequality in a point slope form. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.